to start, we we're doing the easy one. We're doing Miss Little Klee because I feel it's important to start a good and evil, chaotic and lawful chart with someone that is like one of the four corners, basically. And it's just like a nice calibration to establish like my standards for what good, evil, chaotic and lawful are. Klee goes straight in the corner. Uh, straight in the corner of chaotic evil. My logic for this is because my main judgment for good and evil is like selfish versus selflessness. And then lawful is like following the rules. I think most children are probably inherently more towards chaotic evil. And Klee in particular shows some problematic things where she like doesn't actually care. <laughs> Like, she has to, like, actively be supervised by people with superpowers to make sure she doesn't blow up another mountain. So, like, it's not like she's trying to be evil, but she certainly doesn't... She's certainly very selfish to the degree... She's a child. Like, we can understand it, but I think Klee straight up is completely chaotic evil. Like, she might not be fully in the corner. I guess she does, like, listen to Gene and kind of things. But, so she might be not quite fully evil. She might be, I guess, like, more like you. Okay? There you go. So my basis for, like, good is, like, you know, selfless versus selfless, right? So, like, it's a gauge of, of or a spectrum of, like, selfless versus selflessness. Selfish. Uh, and then chaotic versus lawful is, like, rule following, like, you know, whether it be of society or personal rules, right? Like, you have your own personal law. Or just, like being spontaneous and doing whatever kind of thing, right? Less rule following kind of thing. So, you know, yeah. Klee, objectively, I feel like, is easily, easily towards the chaotic evil. Can we do both travelers? The the main character traveler. Okay, main character traveler. First of all, the, let's do Lumine. We're going to say Lumine, the twin that is leading the abyss. It's definitely a little selfish, but like, I think it's, I think they're I think they're lawful evil. I think I think the twin leading the abyss. I don't know that much about them, but I'm guessing they're like lawful evil. I mean, there's a logic and reason of the things they're doing, but they're doing things for the reasons they want to do things, even if it's like four people. So depending on like what the whole abyss story turns out to be, this might like slide towards more good, and like versus evil. But the current presentation of the story to me is more towards the end of lawful evil. So maybe lawful neutral. I'm gonna buy a slightly evil. Uh, for the main character, most of the time they are like, I'd say lawful, presented as lawful good, a goody two-shoes like projection type character. But there's also instances like in the Inazuma story where Traveler was like, I don't want to help you with your bull****. Like, so, not fully good, but also probably something like this is my guess. Albedo, I don't know. Traveler's been a wanted criminal in three out of four nations so far. This is true. I guess they're not very lawful. They're not lawful to like the literal law, but I think they're following their own personal code of conduct. So I think they are a more lawful individual. I'm gonna put them like this. I have like very little knowledge on Albedo lore. So I'm gonna just say he's like probably neutral good amber definitely lawful uh probably good you know she's probably one of the more lawful good characters in the story i'd say probably lawful good easy ayaka i mean she's part of the government probably lawful she she feels lawful to me she doesn't feel evil she's pretty boring so it's lawful good join amber hello barbara there's going to be a lot of, like, boring lawful goods, I think. <laughs> uh, she, like, heals people. Like, I think that's more good-oriented. But she's also, like, an idol. I don't know if that's, like, a selfish thing. So I don't know if she's fully good. She might be, like... The church is very much a lawful organization, right? Where you're, you're following a certain role, code of rules, of, like, code of conduct. Barbara might think she's here. I think Barbara's probably here. Beto. Pirate. Um... I think she's probably towards chaotic good. I don't know exactly how chaotic. I don't think super chaotic. I think she's chaotic, but 
leans... I don't know. I don't know if she even gives two hoots about people. I'm going to guess Kayata good. Mr. Saluna Ayaka is so damn unlawful. How? She helped and aided a criminal? Again, lawful doesn't necessarily... My, my perception of lawful is not following the literal laws. That can be a variation of lawful, right? But fall, like lawful on like a character trait level is not just following the laws, but also potentially just following like your own, like heavily following your own personal like moral conduct, right? She gets her socks wet. You're right. Um, shoot. You know what? You're right. Uh, frick. Perfect. All right. Bennett. Does, is it bad luck chaotic? I think Bennett is inherently maybe a chaotic person who wants more order because of his bad luck. Like his his life is chaotic. So I feel like Bennett leans towards lawful, but his existence is chaotic. So lawful and probably good. He means well. He means well. <laughs> Better than Traveler? Is he more good than Traveler? I think so. Chong Yun. He's an exorcist. Exorcism probably probably is lawful. And it's probably good in nature, exercising demons. That's really all I know about this dude. Sure, yeah, okay. Mr. D. Luke. Um he 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 is a rich boy. I think being rich biases tends to bias people towards being more selfish. Um he's fairly headstrong in his beliefs, right? Rather than following the likes of like what the establishment is. I think he's still is a lawfully oriented individual, but I think he's pretty selfish. But I don't know, I could also put him chaotic. He's a little bit chaotic. Diluc could be a, there, there's an argument I think for Diluc to be many different things. I think because E rich boy, he probably tends toward a little bit of selfishness, like, and he's pretty headstrong in his beliefs. Like, he's very, he believes in the things he believes is the right way to do things, kind of thing. So, I think that leans towards evil and the selfishness side of thing. But he does the things he does in like a way that he thinks benefits people. He could be true neutral. Diluc is not someone I, I thought it would be hard to pin, but now I think about it, I don't know, I don't know how to pin him. No, I'm just gonna. I, we're just gonna slap him on neutral. You know what? You can be. You can be the center, Dilu. Congrats, uh, Diona. Um, I. The only thing I know about her is she hates the wine industry. Like she works for a bar, so I think she's chaotic. Alcohol's bad. That's all I really know about her. Um, and does she believe that because of like her, like experience of like it destroyed her family, and that's like because then that's like more of a good natured thing. Um. So it'd be like slightly lawful good, I'd say. But the way she's going about it is a little bit chaotic. Like you're working as a bartender to try to take down the wine industry is a little bit weird. So I'd say it's actually slightly chaotic and maybe chaotic good. Fish. Chaotic, for sure. Um, She's just chuny. I mean, her whole story bit, like with last year's Golden Archipelago was like her being like slightly unsure about her chuniness. And then accepting the full chuny. <laughs> so I think she's just chaotic neutral, right? Like she she's not she doesn't care. She doesn't really particularly specifically care about people. She doesn't like is not particularly selfish selfish. She's just she's just chaotic neutral. I think she's a perfect example of chaotic neutral. Ganyu. Like she's no sorry, I think she's strongly lawful. This lady freaking has done paperwork for three thousand years. I think she's strongly lawful for paperwork and slightly good. But honestly, I think she mostly just does what Morax says. <laughs> I think I, like maybe more over here. I don't know how altruistic she is versus self-preservationist she is, right? All right, we'll, we'll leave Ganya here. I think this is good enough for Ganya. Hu Tao. Oh, this is evil. Or this is e evil? This is easy. Uh, I think she's like full on chaotic good because, well, I don't know. I could maybe lower her a little bit. Uh, reason being... It's Hu Tao. The chaos, I think, doesn't need to be explained. Um, the good, like, she does what she does, like, with ghosts and, like, exercises ghosts, goes out of her way to try to, like, get people to pass on peacefully kind of thing. So I think she's, like, the definition of chaotic good. Maybe lower her a little bit because some of the things she does is, like, for monetary means, right, for her company. 
I put Ayaka there mostly as a joke, so Ayaka can slide over, or Ayaka can just disappear. There we go, perfect. Uh, that's what you get for making your socks wet. Jean, definitely lawful. Um, I think definitely lawful good. I think she does a lot of her things out of duty, right? So, the weird thing about lawfulness in Monset is like they're the city of freedom, but like freedom is their code of conduct. So I think I think it's a lawful thing, even though it's not laws, right? So I think Jean is one of the most like characteristically lawful good characters in the game. Kaya, we need more evil characters. Kaya's not evil, I don't think. Um, lawful. Mostly good, but I think he's also... Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. Some of the things he does is, like, a little bit chaotic. No, he's a little selfish. I feel like I, I lean towards actually lawful evil slightly. He's very middle, but I think he leans lawful evil. So I think he's a little bit selfish and a bit lawful. He could be, like, literally reversed like this, though. I'm going to put it here. ka -ching. She has very headstrong beliefs and like, you know, not liking the Archons kind of thing. But I don't know whether that's a personal beliefs thing, which would tend her towards more evil, or if it's like rooted in like how she thinks society should function because it'd be beneficial for the average citizen of Tavat to not like put too much faith in Archons, right? Because she'd lean towards good versus evil one way or the other, depending on that. I have no idea. So I think I might just leave her neutral on the good versus evil. Uh, and then probably lawful. She's probably the cheese thing. So literally probably lawful neutral. Yeah. Lisa. I think she's chaotic. I, I get, I've gotten no vibes of her giving two hoots about like a particular like standard that she follows. Code of conduct. There's a lot of chaotic stuff in her voice lines. Okay. I'll believe Sylveon. Sylveon is a... Sylveon is a certified Lisa simp. She zaps drunk men because it's funny to her. Oh, right then. <laughs> oh, right then. Uh, all right, let's push her slightly. Zapping people is not like horrible. Like, she's not this, right? But like, yeah, we'll put her right there then. If she zaps people for fun, uh, she can be a bit uh, chaotic evil. Put her right there. All right, Mona. Um... My impression of Mona after Golden Apple Archipelago is that she's a scam artist. Literally lies to her friends about being rich. I'm sorry. Again, being rich biases you towards selfishness. And that action of hiding that information also biases her towards evil. I mean, I think she's lawful evil. Because she follows astrology. And her law is astrology. Right? Mona's law is astrology. And then she's a selfish butt. So there you go. Ming Wong. Definitely lawful. Uh, I actually lean her towards an evil because it's, I think she mostly does her, the thing she does, she's like, she, she got her power by like working. She's a, she's like the definition of like a lady who's like rich and would like tote meritocracy or like, I was, I was born for nothing and I will like, so, and I became rich and the reason you are struggling is because you don't try hard enough. That's, that's Ning Wong in my mind. Um. Which probably puts her towards... Honestly, she's like the same place as Mona. <laughs> so, I don't know. She also cares about Leo, but she does. We're just going to leave her, like, with Mona. Noelle. Uh, I'd say lawful good. Definitely just up there in that corner. Throw her with these friends. Chi-Chi. Um, she's dead. She's, she's barely a living being. Somewhere like there? I don't know. Sure. Razor. You might say chaotic, but I think he does have like a strong code of conduct, and that's like whatever like wolf wolf code of conduct is. So I think he leans lawful. And I think he's I, I, I would label him as selfish because he only I think Razor probably well, I don't know, he he now cares more about just the, his wolf family. Chi Chi might be the true neutral, yeah. Yeah, well, actually, you're, you're correct. We're just going to throw Chi-Chi in neutral, basically. Yeah, Razor can be there. I, th I think, he, I think like, old Razor used to be more, like, selfish, only cared about his wolfies, fr wolfy friends, and then he moved up to, like, more like this. Sucrose. Oh. Uh, Sucrose, I think, literally has, like, lore excer excerpts of, like, her experimenting on Haley Trills, 
But I think the specific thing she did is like she locks them up and tortures them. So, you know, um, yeah, I think, I think she's lawful evil. She follows the code of conduct of knowledge. Something like this. Perfect. Child. All right. He cares about his family, but like only his family and like straight up was like going to commit genocide for his, 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 his job. So like, I guess not genocide, but he was trying to destroy a whole city. He was literally trying to destroy a whole city. So like straight evil. And then probably slightly lawful. You know, actually he's not, Sucrose is not as evil as child. So she's above. I would consider the sucrose to be lawful because like ascription to scientific standards is a lawful nature. I think this is fine for child. All right. Fenty. Uh, it's obviously towards chaos. Fenty falls his whim, but he definitely is good natured and believes like giving people freedom is a good thing. So I think he's, he's chaotic. Good. Shang Ling. Uh, she's a chef. She's a little bit selfish. I think for sure. She mostly just cares about doing the things she does for food. She's just a little selfish. There you go. There you go. Xiao. Uh, karmic debt demons suffering um law i think he goes to the lawful good pot he's a, he's an edge his whole shtick shao's whole stick is that he acts like an edgy boy but he's just like a nice boy and also like i know uh, by the way i could like throw him over here but i just don't want to like overlay things honestly the the lawful good corner is going to be crowded shing Cho, um slightly selfish i think i don't know he no he like his his story quest was like he did things for like the benefit of others and like a slightly, I think he's like chaotic good. I think he's chaotic good. Like somewhere like here. Shin Yan. I have very little impression of this character. I think she's not really, I think she's just a neutral. She's just a neutral, right? Yeah. Welcome to the neutral card, Shin Yan. Jungle Dongles. Um, this is a harder one. Uh, I think he used to be, right, like Archon War Zhongli. He chose self-preservation over anything. I think he definitely leaned evil as far as like the selfishness goes type of evil. Now that he's, you know, but his whole, his whole story in the game, his whole story in the game is that he like is giving up control to others. He lives by contract. So he's definitely still lawful, I think, right? He's not, he's not like chaotic good, obviously, but he's less evil than he used to be. He's less selfish. So I think he joins the boring crowd, unfortunately. He joins the boring crowd. Not crazily so. I think he's definitely lawful and probably full lawful contracts and all that. Literally following set rules that are set in stone kind of thing. And then a little good. But he does things for selfish reasons. Take it easy. Join, join Kaching. <laughs> uh, Rosario. I think a little bit chaotic, selfish, right? I think something like that. Eula. Hmm. I know she, like, she hates her family, right? She kind of hates her family for, like, the noble BS. So I don't know. I don't know whether to label that as her, her, her hatred of her family is selfish or not selfish. Because it depends on, like, the, the nature of the reasons for it. I don't think we got enough in-depth on her that I know of. So I think she leans probably lawful neutral. Lawful neutral. Slightly good. There you go, Eula. Uh, lawyer. Well, I think the lawyer is lawful. <laughs> if anyone if anyone is objectively lawful, <laughs> it's this one. Um, and I think she definitely does it for the good. And I think she's a good kind of lawyer. So enjoy the boring corner, Yanfei. Kazuha. Why is there two Kazuhas? What is this? It's just Kazo. Why is there two Kazo things? I don't understand. All right, whatever. Um, don't know what this is. I shouldn't have clicked on it, and now it's here to stay. All right. Uh, but yeah, he's uh. Anyways, uh, Kazo is a wanderer. Kazo is a wanderer. Um, I'd say I'm just gonna slap him. Actually, you know, what? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slap him like right here because there's space there, <laughs> and we put this over for some reason. He's good because of some of his actions in the story, right? All right, you and Mia. Um. Chaotic good, I think. Sayu. 
as far as selfishness goes, I mean, again, child, child, she biases towards chaotic evil. <laughs> uh, she, she just cares about herself more than anything. Um, biases towards evil, very selfish, a bit chaotic. Well, not really chaotic. She, she just like sleeps. Actually, I'd say lawful evil, honestly. Her code of conduct is sleeping and growing. There you go. Raiden. Definitely lawful. Slightly less after the results of the story, I'd say. And definitely a bit selfish. Definitely a bit evil, I'd say. In in nature. Not quite child. So I'm not going to put her in bottom. But like, right here. You can join Sucrose. Sara. Definitely lawful. Yeah, I'm going to just put her... Yeah, just right there. Right there's fine. Coconut. Coconut. Uh, Definitely... Good, lawful, boring character. Join the join the boring corner, Coconut. Aloy, you're not a Genshin character. Go away. Um, I, I don't know anything about Aloy, honestly. Uh, if I had to guess, probably good, whatever. Aloy, have fun there. I don't care. You're not a Genshin character. Toma. Lawful, good. Probably something more like this. He just like, he just likes to help people. I think he's more good than lawful, for sure. Something like this. Ito, well, definitely chaotic, um, definitely selfish. He doesn't cause the levels of destruction that this demon does. So, yeah, Goro, lawful. He's basically with Kokomi, I think. Have fun in the boring corner. Shinha, all right, chaotic, definitely a bit. <laughs> I mean, based on her story. I mean, definitely as a child. Definitely as a child, she was here. Now, with the story and, like, making friends and whatever, I think she leans here. Yunjin. There's a void here. So, uh, neutral. I don't know. She doesn't feel particularly lawful or chaotic to me, right? So, um, we're just going to say neutral, slightly selfish. Because, sure. Yai, oh boy. Um, definitely chaotic. Definitely selfish. But she does some things for, like, good reasons. That, like, like they definitely are writing her most of the time to be, like, ah, she's, like, uh, the Giga Brain master plan, where it's, like, ah, she seems like a chaotic, evil person that all does things for chaotic, good reasons. And so it's like, oh, she seems like she's chaotic evil, but she's supposed to be chaotic good. I, my perception of her, she's actually just like more, she does it for the shirts and giggles. I place her more like here. Uh, Mr. Ayato, boring boy, uh, lawful. Not evil. I think just like lawful good. I think, join the boring crowd. Yolan. Definitely I think a bit selfish. I think, I think she's lawful evil. This is a bit crowded over here, too. There we go. Cookies. Uh, Definitely a bit chaotic. I mean, she joined Ito's crew. I think just, like, straight neutral chaotic. Chaotic neutral. I don't, I don't know. She's a bit selfless for, her, like, the crap she does for Ito's team. You know, I'm going to say chaotic good. Chaotic good. Hazo. Lawful, definitely detective. I think he joins the boring crowd. Yeah, I think he joins the boring crowd. All right. Have fun, the boring pile. The on the, the don't put too much thought to any of the people over in this corner because they're all just piled together. I just want them all visible. <laughs> their their particular placement barely barely matters. Uh, Tignari, researcher, definitely. I think he's a bit chaotic. I mean, I think I think Tignari leans chaotic. Good. I don't know how how good though. Slightly. There we go. Kale. Uh. I think you joined the boring pile, Kala. No, I don't know. I don't think she's quite lawful, though, necessarily. She's a harder one to place. I'm going to just place her over here. There you go. Uh, Dory, definitely towards the selfish end, so definitely leaning evil. Um, shows no indications of selflessness to me. And a little chaotic, I'd say. Well, no, she's following the, the laws of capitalism. So you know what? No, I'm going to put her lawful evil right there. There you go. Nilu. Nilu Nilu. Is not following the laws of Sumeru. 
she does have her own strong beliefs in like the values of like entertainment but i don't i think that's a more chaotic thing honestly the believing in like the value of entertainment is more chaos than it is lawful i feel i'm gonna, I'm gonna put her in, in chaotic good sino all right he's definitely lawful he's a my impression okay so he's like look i know people like sino the fact that he's a nerd for card games i know he makes funny terrible jokes but like he's the justice boner boy with good intentions so you can sit slightly good i think his i think he would actually be evil but i he has good intentions so I, i'll be nice to you sino and put you in lawful good Candace literally like expresses desires in some of her voice lines about like wanting to leave Aru village but doesn't because out of duties I mean, she's definitely selfless definitely good person uh and then lawful versus chaotic I think it barely matters to her but I'd lean lawful there you go Candace Nahida um I don't know if she herself is necessarily lawful but she's like forced to be lawful like she kind of has to be because she's put into a position of power from having no power kind of so leans lawful but i don't know if she is inherently lawful she's a bit a bit evil like i don't know she's no i don't know she's good natured it's weird she's good natured but also she like literally takes over people's minds and bodies <laughs> so <laughs> And like even if she's like oh it wouldn't i don't do it often it wouldn't be very nice to do that <laughs> the fact that you can do it at all have fun there there you go there you go nahida uh needs to sleep but can't sleep um follows the laws of school and thinks that's important so i'd say lawful and lawful neutral enjoy the empty space Oh boy, oh boy, Mr. Scarby dudes. Duh, okay, I'm oh boy. This dude has like literally murdered a lot of people. Um Yeah, I know like you went through a character redemption, right? And therefore he'd be like more good because of that. But I think he'd lean evil still. I think he's still pretty selfish. So but not full evil so i'll judge him as he is now i'm gonna lead him evil and then i don't think he gives two hoots for following laws or any particular personal code of conduct anymore so i'm gonna lead him chaotic there you go far as on um i actually don't know that's true about her i haven't done her her uh quest lawful good she okay join the boring corner yeah yeah child she inherently is a little bit chaotic and evil because she is a child. That's just that's just a side effect of being a child. You don't learn. You, selflessness is learned most of the time. I don't know. I've heard voice lines from her. Like when the thunder is out, she literally acts scared, but then like tries to comfort you. So you know what? This is actually a rare good-natured child as she is presented. She is a rare good-natured child. I'm putting her here because there's not much empty space. There you go. The most important thing is she's a good-natured child. There you go. Congrats, Yao Yao. You're so, you're so, you're such a good, great child that you managed to overcome the evil childness. I hate them. Uh, definitely selfish. Lawful evil. Not like child evil, to be clear. But I'm putting him lawful evil. He follows his own personal code and he follows like the researcher's code to a hardcore degree. So fully lawful, I feel. Um, which shifts him definitely not as, he's, he's selfish. But he's definitely not a child. Dia. Definitely a good-natured person. I think she's mostly just like neutral good. Mostly. Join the yow yow tier. Mika. Um. Mika. Mika. Join the boring pile, Mika. Kave. Definitely a bit selfish. I think a bit... He's, uh, I think it's like slightly chaotic evil. Like right here. But nothing like crazily. Maybe just slightly chaotic. I don't know. Maybe good, but I don't, I don't, I, I haven't seen much of Kaveh, so I don't know whether to actually label him as good or not, good or evil. So I might just call him slightly, uh, chaotic, and that's it. Alright, Baiju. Uh, I don't, I also don't know a ton about Baiju, but he seeks immortality, which is a bit selfish. 
I haven't seen anything of him that's like, he's seeking immortality to make the everyone in the world immortal. I haven't seen anything of that. So I'd say he leans selfish. And I think he gives, he doesn't seem chaotic or lawful to me. So I guess you and Jin, you can join the lawful side a little bit and scoot over. There we go. I think he's just like neutral, slightly evil. All right. I don't like this stupid, I'm going to put this thing over here because I hate this stupid thing. Whatever this thing is, it's true evil. There we go. Perfect. Well, this is my 100% accurate D&D &D Genshin character alignment chart. It ended up being a little more spread out than I expected, honestly, from the start. I thought there would actually be more lawful good in the lawful good pile than there is. <laughs> there is a bias towards that. And obviously some of the specific placements of these I just placed where there was kind of open spaces. But... Hey, if anything, this this says to the strengths of Genshin's characterization, in my opinion. So, yeah. Move Ayaka to a normal place? Fine. You want Ayaka in a normal place? There you go. Bye-bye. Ayaka disappears. Now it's fixed. To be clear, I, this is all for funsies. None of this actually matters. At all. At all. It's just like me, whatever, rambling about BS. If I did this again, it might look completely different. <laughs> I am not going to do it again then. Though, this is final and I am correct. No, it, it's it's a, all a subjective thing. It's just meant to be, a, you know, m more what your perception of these things are rather than anything. And I didn't actually spend that much time thinking about it in depth. And many of those characters, you can make arguments for them to be in very different spots than I put them in. That's fine. That's the point and the fun of these things. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe or whatever. I don't know. Like the video. Comment. Call me a fool for putting your favorite character somewhere you'd think they shouldn't have been. <laughs>